There's no need to change your code. Uh, there's no need to migrate. Mighty Meld is, is really, we think of it as a dev tool. It works on your existing code base the way it is right now. And we work on you know, every, basically every way you can build a React app. Uh, Mighty Meld uh, plugs in very easily. Hi, this is your host, Apil Bharatiya, and welcome to TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us Stephen Skolny, CEO and co-founder of Mighty Meld. Stephen, it's great to have you on the show. Hey, thanks so much. Glad to be here. It's my pleasure to host you today. And this is the first time we're talking. And as before the interview, you discussed the company was created in 2022, relatively new. So I would like to know the history, the origin of the company, uh, and what is specific problem that you saw that nobody was solving that you felt that, hey, you had to do something which led to the creation of this company. Talk about the company. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. I'd, I'd love to get into that. I'm a developer. I've worked in a lot of different platforms. Uh, you know, recently, a lot of work on the web, but prior to that, uh, working doing game development with Unity and mobile app development. And in those worlds, there are these visual dev tools like Xcode that show developers visually their product as they're building it and allow them to have a visual intuition and build the UI quickly. But there's nothing like that for web. And this problem has kind of haunted me for a long time. And I saw an opportunity with the evolution of, of React to do something about it. And so I started building. And uh, the result is Mighty Melt. Not just look at you know uh, some of the problem areas that industry is facing uh, where we can see, hey, this is where Mighty Melt is you know helping these organizations. Problem area, let's look at it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to be... Uh, you know, living under a rock these days, not to see what's going on in the world of tech with the, the numerous layoffs and the kind of budget crunches. Even even before the past couple of years, there were a lot of, you, know, you could never move your roadmap fast enough, even when everything was booming and you couldn't get enough development horsepower. But today in these financially constrained times, that's an even bigger problem. And so developer productivity is is uh, a big need. And that's where Mighty Meld is aiming. We're helping developers be more productive with our visual tool that makes it faster to build high quality web apps and deliver high quality interfaces to your customers. And we're also integrating uh, generative AI into the process in some very healthy ways. And, and that's really the primary focus of Mighty Meld is developer productivity, developer ease, and uh, elevating the quality of, of web apps. In the last one year, we are hearing a lot about focus going back to developers because we start talking about DevOps, SREs, all those teams, jargons, uh, which are good on paper, but in reality, the, the reality, the, comp the way the companies still operate, you know, developers are still the ones who are writing the code that add value to the business. And we used to forget them. Now, as you mentioned, there are two th or three things happening. One is the whole layoff that is happening during COVID time. A lot of companies, you know, overhired and now layoffs are happening. At the same time, uh, the whole complexity of cloud, cloud native world is also there, which takes up a lot of developer time. So when we do look at some of these low code, no code development platform, they are not just for folks who are like, they don't have those called technical know-how, but also kind of, I mean, there are a lot of things, you know, iPhone is a good example. You don't have to be a computer scientist to be able to <laughs> to, to just use a computer. So, so talk a bit about the importance, the role of low code, no code platform that you are seeing in the market, looking at from this landscape, uh, once again, that uh, teams are smaller, but you also need to free developers time to not waste too much time in unnecessary work. Does that question make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does, does make sense. I mean, it's been amazing to see the progression of no code and low code tools uh, over the years. Uh, I've been watching them really since it, it, the days of, a visual basic we've had uh, tools like that uh, they unfortunately remain limited uh, they're great for more simple apps but um, when you need to have uh, more custom uh, integrations with your tech stack when you need uh, certain levels of experience we need a certain kind of sophistication or performance metrics to be hit there are a lot of architectural constraints that um, you know where no code uh, solutions cannot really apply and that's why we see a lot of apps still being coded. And the number of coded apps is, is growing as well, just because the number of apps and products, as we all know, is, is growing uh, with every, every passing year. And that was also an inspiration for Mighty Meld, looking at the kinds of workflows that you can have in no code 
and wanting to deliver that kind of workflow to teams without the kinds of compromises that happen when you're siloed into a pre-existing platform. Uh, so just to kind of put that briefly, you know, no code, uh, it doesn't allow the kind of architectural flexibility and customization that uh, sort of the top companies demand. And uh, Mighty Meld is helping, uh, you know, have that ease of development without those kinds of limitations. Can you talk about your offering? Is it a software? Is it a service? It's SaaS? What is it? We think of it primarily as a, as a dev tool, but it is a SaaS product. And you, what happens is you sign up for an account. And basically the way it works is you take your existing React app. And that's also another big difference between Mighty Meld and no-code platforms. No-code platforms say, you know, hey, come here, start a new project, work within our ecosystem. Mighty Meld is a tool that applies to any React app, and we're going to be expanding towards other other platforms as well. And you take your existing app, you uh, install a couple of things, and then you can load it up in the Mighty Meld visual environment, and you can visually explore your web app while it's running. Uh, we have great integrations with things like VS Code, so you can hop really quickly to your code if you need to, do things the traditional way in your text editor. And we also have a really nice visual editing environment where you can uh, move around your UI and something that feels very similar to uh, a Wix or Squarespace or uh, one of those no-code kinds of tools. And as you're doing these visual moves, Mighty Meld updates your code with these uh, small code updates and basically generates uh, the same code updates you would do if you were making those updates by hand. And all in all, you have a, a really nice uh, visual dev tool that um, uh, runs in a browser and allows you to both understand your app, inspect it in new ways while it's running, and also make updates to that app. Who is your target audience? Who is it for? What kind of apps they can build with it? Are there limitations? That's actually the great thing about Mighty Meld is that there are no limitations. And we're very focused on uh, these kinds of custom apps and working with any architecture. Our, our uh, audience, our, our, our user base, all front-end developers, they're building apps using things like uh, Next and Veed and hosting on you know, Netlify or Cell, AWS, uh, as well as other kinds of cloud ho hosted solutions. And they're building all kinds of apps uh, with our product, everything from you know, SaaS dashboards to um, you know, uh, crypto trading apps to landing pages for products. We have a really interesting project going on, which is a, like a font like a type system designer. And it's these kinds of custom projects where Mighty Meld really shines. It'd be really difficult to find a no-code platform that could generate a, a font system generator uh, app for you. And these are the kinds of things where people are, are coding, as well as these larger, larger scale uh, projects. And uh, that's really what Mighty Meld is designed for, uh, situations where you don't want to be limited. You need to uh, choose, uh, choose your architecture and uh, build exactly the way you want to, uh, based on engineering constraints and and uh, and things of that nature. Is it like for startups, smaller teams, or you know even big organization enterprise customers can also leverage it? Right now, we're working uh, primarily with startups and smaller teams, but we're looking to grow into the enterprise as our as our company grows. It may or may not be possible to share some names, but I would love to hear some use cases also where you you have seen that you know, your tool is really helping teams? Yeah, a really common use case we see is a SaaS products dashboard. Uh, I think most of, most, of your, most of our listeners here are probably familiar with uh, SaaS products. They have these custom dashboards that allow you to either see data of people on your platform. Often they allow people on your platform to manage their accounts and see, um, and we're, we're working with a customer who has a, a, a store and you can see shipments that go out in your, your various uh, storefronts. And so um, that's a good use case for Mighty Meld, where basically you need to customize the UI of that dashboard. You need to uh, build out new parts of the dashboard and you can do the UI scaffolding by basically using drag and drop and these visual tools. And then as you're scaffolding out and building out the UI with a really optimized Mighty Meld flow, that dashboard also needs to connect to all of their backend services and you know, perhaps has some custom charting in there as well. And so for those kinds of parts of the app, uh, they can be hand coded in the traditional way. Uh, while Mighty Meld is used to lay out and build the UI and also fix, uh, get the styling good in a, a visual, intuitive way. Any specific industries you're targeting, or it doesn't really matter? Yeah, we're really we're really more focused on our customers. We're focused on front end developers, and as you know, uh, front end developers work in a lot of different industries. 
So um, we're not, yeah, we're not focused on a particular industry. You earlier also talked about generative AI and generative AI is uh, one of the hottest topic to get. Talk about how you're leveraging it and you can look at it from two different perspectives as one is front-end developers who are building these generative AI based applications. Second is leveraging generative AI for Mighty Melt. We have a wonderful uh, integration of generative AI in Mighty Melt. As you might be aware, there are a lot of systems where you can uh, you know, submit a prompt and get an application of sorts uh, for some basic kinds of applications. Uh, that's great if you're starting, you're doing a greenfield project. But when you have an evolving code base, developers are needing something that integrates into their workflow. And we've seen great results with things that integrate into the, the text editor. And what we've done is done a similar kind of AI integration, but into the visual uh, app itself. So the experience of Mighty Meld is you're using your product, you point to parts of the UI, you say, you, you ask the AI to update uh, a part of your uh, UI. It updates there right in front of your eyes. You see the code that it generated and also you experience immediately an updated version of your app. And so what we're focusing with, with our AI integration is a very tight human in the loop situation where as you're working, you ask the AI for things and you see those results immediately. And so you can iterate very quickly with the help of AI and also exposing to the developer what gets created so they can either you know, discard it and ask for uh, another prompt, or they can make slight modifications to the result that was uh, generated by the AI. We are looking at, you, you mentioned uh, startups, but we are looking at a lot of green field, uh, a lot of brown field deployment. How about teams who already have their workflow and now they want to embrace Mighty Melt? Do they have to do a lot of you know reworking the, of the code? Do you have to migrate things? That's exactly the idea of Mighty Melt. And, as an engineer, I know how painful it can be to have to do migrations to adopt products. And I don't think any engineer wants to change their workflow uh, if they don't have to. I mean, the idea of Mighty Meld is to speed up things for developers. So there's no need to change your code. Uh, there's no need to migrate. Mighty Meld is, is really, we think of it as a dev tool. It works on your existing code base the way it is right now. And we work on you know, every basically every way you can build a React app. Uh, Mighty Meld uh, plugs in very easily. So quick to get going, no lock-in, and uh, no change to the way you code. Excellent. Now it's time to see it in action. So let's do the demo. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to show Mighty Meld working on, uh, this is actually one of our sample projects that we've put together that's available for developers to play with. And we built this app using uh, Chakra and TypeScript. And I'm going to load it up right now in Mighty Meld. And you can see we added our dev dependency to the build. And once you've done that, uh, it basically, instead of typing uh, npm start as you normally would, you can type npx mighty meld, and that will load up your app in the mighty meld studio. And here I can see the app, and this is actually a running version of the web app. So I can click around, uh, navigate the app, uh, test it as I ordinarily would in this view. We actually have multiple responsive views here if we want to show. Uh, multiple views simultaneously, we can set that up in Mighty Meld. And so Mighty Meld is a great way just to test and run your app. But where things get really interesting is when I uh, kind of pause time and go into edit mode. And when I go into edit mode, I can click around and I see in real time this uh, hierarchical uh, visual visualization of my app's JSX. And then I can go around and make edits. Uh, like I can uh, change the name here, uh, say from movie app to uh, maybe my movies. Uh, and when I do these changes, Mighty Meld updates uh, the code for me and it causes the app to hot reload. Let's say I want to put these titles above the details. I can just drag uh, this up here and I can see it rearrange in my app. Uh, Mighty Meld is updating my local code. I can see here the diff of the code updates that Mighty Meld is making. As we can see, they're very small, clean, minimal code updates. Uh, Mighty Meld is also very nicely integrated with my text editor. If I want to actually see this code, I can uh, open an editor and maybe you know look at maybe some of the callback functions or some of the non-visual things that are happening as I interact with this UI. And so it's a great launching off point into uh, my uh, code base. Another thing I can do with Mighty Meld uh, is build with these things we call prefabs, which are basically uh, building blocks uh, from your favorite design system. Uh, we're using Chakra UI in this app, and so we have these building blocks set up for Chakra. So I can actually uh, take, say, a divider, 
drag it in, um, and it pastes it right here in my app for me. I can see that it's also made the, uh, the code update down here and added the import. And so you can see here, I'm visually building on my running web app. And of course I can go and run my app and uh, feel out the changes that I made. And since everything is component aware, you can see uh, this update here um, where I moved the title is in uh, other places in the app where the same component appears. And that's that's basically in a kind of summary of Mighty Melt, a visual dev tool that allows me to do the visual part of my work visually in tight coordination with all my other uh, tools in my my dev dev tool stack, uh, VS Code, your favorite text editor, uh, GitHub, and uh, things of, of that nature, as well as uh, design systems like in this case Chakra UI. And we're using uh, I believe this is a Next app uh, to, to to build it. So um, yeah, Mighty Mel's ready to work on any React app that comes its way. Can you also talk about how developers can get it started? You know, uh, what kind of pricing uh, offering you have for them? Mighty Mel is now available for the web development community to use free of charge. And um, so yeah, go to mightymel.com today. We're inviting the web development community to come in and uh, sign up on the free tier, give Mighty Mel a try, and uh, we think you'll love it. And what after free tier? And what are the limitations? The free tier is is live, and we also have an enterprise tier uh, for teams with some advanced functionality around uh, things like sign on, and also some advanced build uh, functionalities in that tier. And we are uh, working on a, a paid tier with some of our upcoming uh, additional superpowers will be available in a paid tier coming soon. So this free tier is not a trial mode. They can continue to use it as a Yeah, it is not a free trial. It is a, a free, just a, a free level. And basically the free tier gives devs enough powers to experience a big productivity boost with Mighty Meld. And then the paid tiers will offer additional functionalities as well as additional features that are needed for, for bigger teams. Right. So regularly, you know, in general, they can they can continue to use it if they want. And if they do want to move, then they can move to uh, the next paid tier. Uh, excellent. Thank you, um, Stephen. Thank you so much for taking time out today to talk about the company and this excellent demo. And I would love to chat with you again because I can see there are a lot of things in your pipeline. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the chat.